Uh, Emily and Shane went out on a romantic date, but it turns out there was nothing romantic about it. Take a look. Are you excited to be on date night? You know, it gives us the opportunity to connect. Thinking. I'm not eating any bread. You earned it. I'm not eating any bread, so stop trying to get me to eat bread. So I was thinking that maybe we should go back to, like, couples therapy. No. We can save them therapy money and just be nice. Show your commitment. Really interested in working on things. And then I'll join you. Well, why does it all reside, like, 100% in me? It's hard because for 10 years, I've always had a problem with the way he talks to me. Hey, I don't know what to do. What am I supposed to do? Karamo, tell this woman what to do. Remember, you are perfectly designed and leave that man immediately. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. All of that, I mean, like, that was bad from beginning to end. He was telling her what she should eat. He was not listening to her. She was trying to express that I need help. And he was like, no, how about you be nice, putting all the fault on her, not taking on of it on his own. Leave. Time to go. Gina, you have the closest uh, POV of this situation. What are your thoughts mm -hmm. about it? It's hard for me. Um, obviously, my situation as well. I never want to see anybody being treated like that. I don't even think Shane really respects me or any of her friends, let alone her. So that's very difficult. But I do think that there are very deep-seated problems there that involve both of them. Do I think he's handling them well? No. Do I think that's coming out well? No. But I do think there is... It's a two-way street. I, I, I do think there are things on both sides. Got it. All right. <laughs> Thank you.